this has to be a joke. This literally has to be a joke. This hey fools welcome back to my channel and welcome to my channel if you are new if you are new to my channel hello my name is keisha make sure you hit that subscribe button before you leave if you enjoy weight loss content all things just weight loss and health i've lost a ton of weight here on youtube you guys are about to be in for a treat for this video hit that subscribe button if you are new follow me on my socials at keisha rose Two. leave me some comments down below you guys there's something that's going around on the internet and i'm all things weight loss i'm all things just health in general so something has really just ruffled my feathers here okay so you are in for a treat in this video i am drinking my timmy green superfood blend you guys know that i have recently did the timmy 30 day detox which was awesome it did my body really really good and now i'm just drinking this on a daily basis just to add those nutrients back into my body i'm losing weight i'm feeling great you know i haven't updated you guys on my weight in a couple of weeks those videos are coming soon you guys can get this in the description box down below use code quiche 20 to get 20 percent off i'll leave everything right here on the screen in the description box and i just put one scoop and a cup of water i love to add lime with mine it's so so good you guys this stuff is filled with nutrients it has 16 different superfood ingredients 100 percent plant-based love that for me vegan love that for me as well gmo free gluten free dairy free soy free all of that no artificial additives flavors colors chemicals none of that stuff so if you want to get your green hit this stuff is is for you okay i absolutely love it if you want to jump start your weight loss i'll put the detox down below everything is down below so there's something going around called the overweight acceptance or fat acceptance however you want to word it movement and i've seen a couple of videos and i actually wanted to react to this one video of this tiktoker um, I, I'm not even familiar with her really, but I seen this video and it was very triggering. If I do say so myself, me being a person who've lost a ton of weight, who's still on a weight loss journey, who talked to people about losing weight. This stuff is crazy. What's going on in the world today. So I want to watch this video with you guys. Feel free to leave your comments down below. Um, I just want to get the conversation started to be honest. So, um, let's react to this. I'm going to Play this video, buckle up your seatbelt because you are in for a ride. Cute outfits and fat rhetoric, part three. You know that you shouldn't be the same size you were in high school, right? Like you were a child. They make fat bikinis. They expect fat people to wear them. You're eating to have been treated, not praised. You're allowed to have seconds. Just because they're related to you does not make their opinion about your body correct. I don't care if it's flattering. I'm not glorifying anything by simply existing. You know you don't need to lose weight to find a partner, right? Fat people get married all the time. Take up some damn space. You know what tastes better than kale? Having a healthy relationship with food. Stop apologizing for your body. You deserve to feel pretty. Um you guys just watch that with me i want to go through and um talk about some points that she mentioned in this video and just kind of if you guys are feeling like it's okay to just be overweight and different things like that and it's not good to get yourself healthy and those different things and just settling for just being overweight in general i'm about to debunk every thought in your mind that you could think of as far as this video and this is an, an attack on her because this is a, a big movement that probably been around before she even hopped on the internet who knows I don't know but it's something that's not it's new but it's not new if you know what I'm saying so let's start this video over and I'm gonna go through point by point on what she said and I'm gonna talk about what she's saying so this probably be a long video so get you guys some snacks it'll be juicy it'll be good you'll leave motivated so yeah let's do it outfits and fat rhetoric part three you know that you shouldn't be the same size you were in high school right like you were a child 
So when it comes down to people saying this, um, you shouldn't be the same size you were when you were in high school or a child. I honestly feel like that is ridiculous. It's a ridiculous talking point. It's a ridiculous point in general. And she's not the only one that said this because see, it could be a person who gained weight, who's overweight, or it could be some enablers that's around you when you gain weight that'll tell you, girl, you, you, you don't need to be the same size you was in high school. School, you look good right now. You you thick. You looking good. And that thick one get me every time. A lot of people think that being overweight is considered being thick. That's not thick. That it's not at all. But I'm going off on a tangent with that one. So I'll hop back on track. But yeah, so it could be enablers that's around you. It could be yourself. And you, you, people use that excuse in their mind all the time saying, I shouldn't be the same size I was in high school. And it's not about being that same size, but it's about being at a healthy weight for yourself where you feel good, where you look good. You just feel awesome when you were trimmer. You feel better. Believe me, I've been there when it comes down to being overweight. I've been there and it does not feel good no matter what anyone say. You, you don't want to be like that and a lot of people don't know where to start and they use these talking points as an excuse or even a defense mechanism at times and it's not okay like debunk them thoughts in your mind declutter those thoughts in your mind it's okay to be trim it's okay to lose your weight it's okay to be at a healthy weight for your height in in body size ratio this is crazy let's continue though they make fat bikinis they expect people to wear them crazy because I totally agree with that they make fat bikinis they expect fat people to wear them and that's totally fine they expect overweight people to come in and buy them and even I've noticed um over time they even made bigger bikinis they, these things are getting bigger and bigger and bigger and even fashion forward as well if I do say so myself they're really pretty but um that doesn't negate the fact that being overweight is not okay. You see what I'm saying? So it's like all of these talking points, all of these points are still, it still doesn't debunk the fact that it's not okay to be overweight. It's not healthy for your body at all whatsoever. So all of these excuses to me, in my, in my opinion, these are crazy. And just like I said, excuses. And as I said, again, this isn't an attack on her. Um, I don't even know her personally, so it's not an attack on her. But if you are having these same thoughts, this is an attack on your mind to tell you to whip yourself in shape and lose your weight. You're eating she said your ED um, should have been treated, not praised. And I'm not totally sure what she mean by that. But I did want to hit on a point that um, that I want to make. And it's crazy because if you talk about an ED, a lot of people in all communities start this really early on in life. How many times have you ever heard your parents growing up or you probably ever told your child um, as they were young or coming up when you cook food or when your parents cook food for you? Don't get up until you finish all of that food. Sit down and eat all of that food. Don't waste the food, yada, yada, versus letting someone rely on their own just intuitive eating. That alone right there is starting an ED. If you really want to be honest, that's starting, that's jump starting, uh, just binging all of that stuff to get you overweight. So when you talk about an ED, those things should be treated. If you catch those things from young and let your kid or let a person just rely on intuitive eating, it'll be a better situation. A lot of us just got away from intuitive eating and unfortunately, these are the results of it. And it's funny that society is trying to make it okay. And inclusivity is what they're calling it to just be overweight and don't do anything about it. This is bizarre to me. I'm oblivious. You're allowed to have seconds. Not quite sure why she said you are allowed to have seconds and I think a lot of overweight people when they're out eating or eating anywhere just in general and they go back to get seconds think that someone is looking at them I've even heard people say that 
you know, they feel like they're being looked at weird when it come down to getting seconds. And I think you are allowed to get seconds. Here's the thing. I think a lot of people don't realize you have a hunger drive. You're going to be hungry. You're going to eat. But a lot of people don't realize they're eating the wrong foods. I won't even get into that. If you want to know more about that, <laughs> watch my video that I posted just here recently. I'll put it in the description box below. But nothing is wrong with eating seconds. Eating seconds is not going to get you fat. It's not going to make you, make you get on a journey to have to lose a bunch of weight, 50, 60 pounds or anything like that. So I have no idea why um, she's even hitting on that. But um, yeah. Just because they're related to you does not make their opinion about your body correct. This is so true. Just because someone is related to you, it does not make their opinion about your body valid by any stretch of the imagination. This is true. A lot of people around you will try to tear you down, even if they're in your family, if they're out of your family. Toxic people are just toxic people when it come down to it. And she's not talking about toxic people. I'm just throwing that out there. When it come down to um, losing weight, gaining weight, or whatever you want to call it, right? Right. But um, I think it's important to listen to those around you that'll tell you the truth. Because see, a lot of times when people are doing something wrong or overweight or something like that, they want to hear good things about their bad habits. And that's exactly what this kind of rhetoric is. It's good things about people's bad habits. No one should walk around with extra 60, 70, 80, 90 pounds of body fat on their body and think that it's okay, right? So when a person is in their circle and tell them the truth, then it's like, oh, your opinion doesn't matter. So be careful with that when it comes down to saying certain people opinion doesn't matter. Just be careful and make sure it's not you in your own feelings tripping, you know? I don't care if it's flattering. I won't really react to that because if she don't care if she's flattering, that's her business. I care if, I, if I'm flattering, if my clothes are flattering, I care what I look like. I don't want to walk around overweight that's why I'm on a weight loss journey now I want to get to the best that I can be I and if you guys are okay with that that's your business as well but just know it's not healthy I'm not glorifying anything by simply existing you're glorifying she says she's not glorifying anything by simply existing I agree with that but when you hop on the internet and put this rhetoric out there then you are glorifying it telling people oh this and that and it's okay like this is glorifying being overweight in my opinion you guys let me know what you think in the comments below you know you don't need to lose weight to find a partner right fat people get married all the time okay this is true but it's a double-edged sword and let me explain so a lot of people feel like this a lot of women feel like oh i'm gonna get a man regardless to what i look like he needs to fall in line he needs to like me if i'm fat yada 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 it's true some men will get with you when you're overweight they need to lose some weight however I'm going to tell you something and then I'm going to challenge you to do what I say. Okay. Don't just listen to what I'm saying. Do what I'm telling you to do. Right. So men are very visual creatures. When you come to, if you take a woman with her same face, which is gorgeous, right? With her same face, or I'll, t I'll tell you like this, take a man and take someone that, that he's attracted to in the face, two women, same face. Let's say they're twins, right? Take them both, put them in front of that man. One is overweight, one is trim. I don't, I don't mean skinny, super stick skinny. I mean, one is overweight and one is trim at a good body size. I can almost guarantee you because men are visual. They want, they're into your body, what your body look like. I can almost guarantee you that he's going to choose the trimmer one. A lot of men, majority of, of your average everyday man is not going to prefer a woman that is overweight. I've talked to different men. I, I know this. I know this. I know this. And I challenge you not to listen to what I say, but to ask the man that is closest around you, that's closest to you. I don't mean close like a best friend. 
just just that's around you and ask him to be 100% honest with you and ask him the same thing that I just said and I guarantee you he's gonna say he would rather be with the trimmer one now I'm not saying all men I'm saying majority though majority men a lot of men do not like would not prefer an overweight woman they just won't they just won't I can guarantee you that so I challenge that you don't have to be thin to get a, a significant other but it'll help you along the way and you shouldn't even care if you get a man or not you should want to be trimmer because you want to be trimmer and be healthy right so yeah let's go take up some damn space I don't know what that mean are you is she telling people to take up space um, and be fat? Because that goes back to the point of glorifying being overweight. You see what I'm saying? So I won't hit on that point too much because I don't know what she mean by that. I'm hoping she's just not telling people to just gain weight and be big. You know what tastes better than kale? Having a healthy relationship with food. That's so true. Um, having a healthy relationship with food is really, really something that is a big deal. And a lot of people have lost touch with that. Um, and hence why a lot of people are overweight and some people are underweight because they have EDs, you know. So um, I agree with her on that. However, when you take a lot of overweight people, what I notice are people that just isn't keen on nutrition or um, weight loss or health or anything like that, don't know too much about it. They're always talking like, well, I'm not finna eat no kale or I ain't finna do all of that to lose weight. Honey, I'm losing weight eating a bunch of potatoes, corn, sweet potatoes, rice, all of that stuff. You can eat your bulky good foods and don't have to eat kale and broccoli and all of those other cruciferous vegetables. You don't have to eat that to lose weight. So a lot of people use that as talking points to say that that's why they're not overweight. I mean, to say that's why they're overweight. Um, because they don't want to eat those foods. So yet they eat all of these greasy, fattening, over just saturated foods. You see what I'm saying? You don't have to eat kale to lose weight. You don't have to eat bok choy to lose weight. You don't have to eat those things to lose weight. So I notice a lot of people use that talking point when it comes down to weight loss. So that's why I hit on it like I did. Stop apologizing for your body. Yeah, you don't have to apologize for your body. I don't care if you're overweight, you're, uh, you're small. I don't care who you are. You don't have to apologize to society for your body in general. I don't care where you are in the world, who you are, what you do. You don't have to apologize for being yourself, right? One thing is, is that you need to love yourself enough to lose that weight to make sure that you are at the healthiest you that you can be. It's not true, genuine love, honestly, for your own well-being when you're overweight and just okay with it and you're not doing anything about it and you're out here glorifying being overweight that's not true genuine love for yourself so that's just my thought on it you shouldn't have to apologize for who you are but love yourself enough to be the best you that you can be if that makes sense to you guys you deserve to feel pretty Yep, you do deserve to be uh, to be pretty, feel pretty, you deserve it. And part of that is getting to the healthiest you that you can be. In the meantime, if you're still overweight, if you're working to get to the best you that you can be, you should still des you still deserve to feel pretty. However, trust and believe me, once you get to that best you that you can be, I've, I'm telling you guys, I've been overweight, been overweight, been smaller, been mi medium, mid-sized, whatever you guys want to call it now. It feels so good to be at the healthiest you that you can be. At that point, you feel just great inside out. You're radiant. You are just radiating. You are just feeling great. It, I, I don't understand how people can be okay with um, just sitting being overweight, you, you got a fupa, you barely cause you can't see your lady parts. You can't see different areas of your body. You barely could bend down and tie your shoes. How is that? Okay. You, tell me in the comments, 
How is that okay? If you guys are okay with being how you are, if you're overweight, let me know how that is okay. Why that is okay with you. I, I genuinely want to know because I'm oblivious to why people can just settle for just being overweight and that's that. I gained weight, lost weight, gained weight, lost weight, and I'm going to keep on this journey to my weight loss journey until I get to where I want to be. A lot of people say things like, you're still on a weight loss journey and you best believe I'm going to be on it until I get to the point to where I want to be with my health. I don't care how many times I slip up. I don't care how many times I fall. I'm going to keep pushing until I get to the best me that I can be. People judge me and others for things like that, for falling, getting back up. But a lot of people don't seem to judge anybody who's just given up and okay to be overweight. And a lot of those people who are behind the keyboard judging, honestly, are the ones that are overweight and unhappy a lot of times, a lot of times, believe it or not. Why? Because hurt people hurt people. It's just unbelievable. I've been looking on the internet and it's unbelievable the things that are out there, the things that are said, just the, the agenda and the motives behind all of this, pushing people to be bigger. Because <laughs> guess what? The bigger that you are, the better it is for certain industries. Because guess what? When you're overweight, you're going to get high blood pressure eventually, most likely about 98.8% you will, you're probably going to get diabetes eventually, you're going to have a lot of doctor's visits eventually, which is going to put you on medication eventually, and who wins? The industry wins because you are a constant customer over and over, you're bringing in, you, you are a dollar sign, you are bringing in residual income for this industry. So if you want to keep pushing yourself to that level, you can go ahead, but I'm not choosing to do that. And I'm going to keep putting my voice out there for things like this, situations like this, just to keep you guys on track. Cause I know you come here for weight loss. This will keep you guys on track and help you guys to stay motivated because I have a feeling that eventually this stuff is going to take over the internet. This Fat acceptance, overweight acceptance, all of this stuff is going to take over. And a lot of things that are horrible is going to be, not saying a, a person is horrible because they're fat, but it's horrible what it does to your health. So don't get it twisted. But a lot of things that are horrible that are being pushed is going to be pushed towards the masses, which this already is. But it's, it's going to start being okay to the masses, if you understand what I'm saying. So I'm here to lend my voice to tell you that this is not okay. Make sure you take care of yourself. Make sure you take care of your health, your well-being. And yeah, good luck.